So from the institutional investors um, that we speak to, there's a great deal of interest in Africa. And there's a disconnect between perception and reality. Uh, and the biggest disconnect is about risk and risk and returns. Uh, the story has not yet been fully told on Africa and there, that, that, that's why there's a lot more that uh, is taking place in terms of research and demonstration that you can actually make money well, safely in Africa today. Uh, the perception of risk is very high. The distinction in many of the institutional investors, especially the pension funds, is between the, the managers who actually manage the funds, uh, the pension funds, and the, the boards and boards of trustees that don't understand Africa and they get uh, swiped by the, uh, by the news and the, and the press and they realize that, or at least they uh, perceive that the risk is too high for them. So they, they don't always trust their manager, their, their internal fund management uh, investment team when they tell them we should invest in Africa. So there is this connect between the two. There's this perception and then the reality in the market is that we see Africa as being a very um, a growth market. It is one of the few remaining growth markets that, uh, that provides diversification. And the reason is there's not that much competition for companies, especially in the midsize, um, that there are many, many companies that are actually going pretty fast that do absorb private equity fund uh, and they do well. Um, and the opportunity for them is these markets are growing. We know the stories about urbanization, population, the young population, etc. But it's also growth of the middle class and all of the story is still there and it makes sense. But there is also the other story of the reforms that are taking place in many of those countries that are providing for greater opportunities for companies to actually grow. So it's a combination of reforms that are happening, the political stability that's, pro that's happening more and more. I wouldn't say it's across the board, but it is happening. And it is that opportunity set that we see. But it's also it's important to distinguish which markets we're talking about. There's the large companies, the mid-market, the small companies, and each one has a different dynamics that uh, investors need to be aware of.